Welcome to part two of configuring BIOS. And in this part, I want to actually restart Windows 7, jump into the BIOS utility, and just give you a look at that. Now, what you'll have to do is check with your particular machine to see how you enter it. On mine, I press F2. So I'm going to restart the machine. Notice I'll click on the Start button, come up here and restart. And I'm going to be ready when it starts to press F2. And so once the restart happens, I will instantly start to press the F2 key, and this will dump me straight into the BIOS. And there it is, it dropped me in. Now notice something here. This is going to be in 640 by 480 screen, and I'm set to 1280 by 720, so it's going to look a little smaller. I hope you can see this. But notice this is not a graphical environment. I'm using my right and left arrow keys to move around and then I can use my up and down arrow keys to go in and change things. Now notice I can change all sorts of things here. My system time, my system date, legacy diskettes. Notice I can go to the right, go over to advanced, go to security. I can set user passwords, a password on boot if it's supported. But then on boot, notice I can choose hard drives, CD-ROMs, Notice removal of devices. If you notice over to the right there, keys used to view, this will expand these. Control Enter will expand all of the devices that I can set. Then, of course, I can exit and get out. So there's a lot of things I can set in here, but this is the way I would go in here and change these things. Notice I can just move down and hit Enter and see the different things that I can use to set the boot order and all kinds of things. I don't want to make any changes here, so I can go to exit, go down to exit, discarding changes. If I made changes, I would go down to exit, saving changes, but I'll just choose exit, discarding changes. And notice my computer then starts to boot up. Just like always, it's going to look a little different for you just for a moment here because of resolutions in a virtual environment. But that is how you go in and make changes to the BIOS. And keep in mind the changes we're making there, we're actually writing them out to CMOS and it's going to use that to later boot up using BIOS and get my computer up and running successfully. So that's just a real quick look at how you can get in to the BIOS utility to make those CMOS changes to actually change the way BIOS creates the environment that you see when you work with your computer.